Well, Craig, pedestrian involved crashes have been a pretty big deal here in Cincinnati. This year alone, there's already been more than 100 crashes involving cars and pedestrians. Earlier this week, a teen hit over in Avondale. And uh, just last year, a student actually hit in a hit and run here at Western Hills High School. So that's why some council members are looking for new and innovative ways to keep students safe. Just five months ago, a student was hit outside of Western Hills High School. That young girl is among nine other students hit near the school just in the last three years. My heart dropped. My first thinking was, OK, what how many kids is it going to take um, to get hurt or just people in general before something more is done? Cherie Jordan mentors students with the Cincinnati Youth Collaborative and says traffic in school zones is an issue. Cars fly down the road. There's not really too much thought of slowing down. The city council looking at ways to help not just here at Western Hills, but at schools citywide. I think it's important to take up this 3D crosswalk. A possible solution, 3D crosswalks. Here's what they look like. The crosswalk flat to walkers, but for drivers, it looks raised. The optical illusion is intended to slow down drivers. Visible crosswalks are incredibly important for any pedestrian, whether it's a Councilman Jeff Pastor wants to see the floated crosswalks painted in school zones, testing it out first with a pilot program. But you know, I kind of feel like it would be kind of dangerous. Some feel it could do more harm than good. Spook people, you know, like what is that? People want to slam on the brakes, brake check somebody and hope a different approach will be taken to keep kids crossing safely. And Pastor says this will go to the Law and Public Safety Committee on Monday, where they'll hash out some details like the possible cost of this and what a pilot program could look like before it goes back to full council. And Craig and Tanya, I did reach out to the school district, and they say that the board president had actually heard of this uh, idea of doing 3D crosswalks earlier in the week, and this was something that uh, they had discussed and would look want to look into. Uh, so it seems like some support around this idea. Reporting live, Marielle Carbone, 9 on your side. Marielle, thank you very much, and we want your opinion at home. Should the city move forward with 3D sidewalks? What do you think of these things? Call the hotline at 513-852-4998. I'll have your thoughts this Friday at 6 o'clock.